Okay, so today I'm going to try to remember to uh, record an entire painting um, and just post it in its entirety. I'll probably speed it up um, for the sake of saving you from boredom. So um, first thing I do when I start a new painting is go to the local art store and grab a canvas. This one happened to be 50 bucks off, so it was a good deal. And I've been kind of tending towards squares, so it's uh, 36 by 36. And then I just go to the paint section and a couple colors that kind of strike me for whatever reason at the moment, I grab. Uh, this one was the first one that jumped out at me. It is light pink from Liquitex. <laughs> and then... Um, the next one that jumped out at me was this Payne's Gray, also from Liquitex. And um, I don't know, together, I kind of like the, the color combination. So I will obviously probably introduce other colors throughout and may even end up with a completely different color palette where you don't see very much of either of these colors. Um, but we'll see. So. This is basically the first stage of every painting that I do, where I just kind of want to get something down and it really doesn't matter. It's just intuitive, whatever comes to me. I got several different tools that I use uh, in the first layer, um, just basic number two pencil. Um, this one's charcoal. I have these little graphite sticks that I use and then obviously paint and um, paint brushes and palette knives and water. Um, so with that, I'll begin and we'll see where this goes. Another thing that jumped out at me was some, some spray paint, some gold spray paint. So I'm going to incorporate that as well.
So this canvas does not have a bar going through it in the middle. So the back of my easel is like poking through the canvas, which is really annoying me. So I keep trying to uh, put the back of the easel against one of these for support so it doesn't poke through. It's not working very well. But we're gonna make it work. <laughs> I've never worked with this size canvas, obviously. Okay, so now it's starting to take shape. I'll give you a close up here so you can kind of see once you start getting some stuff down, the canvas starts giving you some direction, um, otherwise known as composition. So uh, this one's starting to develop a comp composition in my mind. And I'm starting to get some direction. So there, that's part one, just kind of the first 20 minutes of a new abstract painting, the process that works for me anyway. So to be continued, hopefully with my easel figured out. <laughs>